Yes, Christmas is coming up, and so too is a potential tropical cyclone. Now, it's likely to be well before Christmas, but still next week there is a chance that we could be seeing a storm coming in. So we're going to track that for you. The latest modelling does show it coming into the New Zealand area around Tuesday and Wednesday next week, and most of the modelling is now starting to agree on that. The storm is actually forming right up here in the Solomon Sea. It will drift down into the Coral Sea where it's likely to form into a tropical cyclone this weekend or even at the end of this week. Then Sunday, Monday tracks down past New Caledonia towards Norfolk Island. And then around Tuesday, Wednesday, it comes into the New Zealand area. But here's the big question. Will it still be a storm or will it just be a large area of low pressure? Either way, rain and humidity look like they are coming our way next week, but it is still too early to totally lock in. But our confidence levels have gone up from 25% on Monday to 60% today for some sort of impact in New Zealand. So let's get into it for you. Here's the forecast as we get into Thursday. Another rainmaker out here near Sydney. There's the low pressure zone we're tracking. And in New Zealand, high pressure parked up to the north means more of those mild winds carrying on for northern New Zealand. Very warm at the moment to the top of the country, but we'll be seeing a few showers and downpours here and there around New Zealand as we go through Thursday. By Friday, that rainmaker around Sydney remains, still pushing in a bit of wind as well as some rain. You've got that low pressure system deepening further in the Solomon Sea. And in New Zealand, mostly dry on Friday, just a couple of showers here and there. Pretty simple forecast. So as we go into the weekend, New Zealand sees more of a northwesterly flow. That will drive in some rain around the west coast. And meanwhile, in Southland and Otago, a cooler southerly is coming in from around this big high. So that will pull, on, pull up some cooler air flows, maybe even going as far north as Canterbury. But it'll be one of those setups where the southern half of the South Island's kind of cold and the northern half looks fairly warm. The North Island certainly looks warm. No um, shortage of warm nights on the way for northern New Zealand. The other note, uh, feature that we'll notice on Saturday, that low deepens, and this is when a tropical cyclone, uh, it might well be given a name getting down to the 990 hectopascal range. Now by Sunday, it drops to 970, so it is rapidly deepening. And that's why tropical cyclone is likely, and that will then start to impact New Caledonia. And it'll also, if the modeling's accurate, bring in some big seas waves to the western uh, islands of, or the western side of the Vanuatu Islands. But this storm is tracking southwards. It pulls down that red line as it comes with it. That's pulling down all that tropical, moisture rich air, humidity, and pushes it down further into the South Pacific. Uh, just the last feature, another burst of rain in the New Zealand area, kind of caught up with that low leaving New South Wales, but it is not looking too major, just a few downpours. But once again, back into central New Zealand, the summer of rain, as I said yesterday. So next week gets interesting. This storm deepens or remains deep up here near New Caledonia. Hopefully it does remain just offshore makes all the difference. These storms, you know, they, they can brush by you and not really do much damage and they directly hit you and it's a completely different story. In New Zealand, on Monday, humid northerlies coming down, mostly dry, but a few afternoon downpours in, through inland areas of both islands. And then we get to Tuesday of next week and that's when things get interesting. In comes the storm. Now this is the GFS modeling, the American modeling. Uh, they're pretty consistent for this storm. They've been picking it since last week. And ECMWF, the European models, which we also trust, uh, they are also showing low pressure. But here's the difference. This shows a storm. The other lot are showing low pressure, not necessarily a storm, just a low. That kind of weakens as it falls into high pressure that's almost off the map. But this is definitely one to keep an eye on next week um, and the middle of next week as well. If this modeling is accurate, looks a little bit like Cyclone Gita, which came in in a very similar area. But no storms are like each other. You never have a tropical cyclone that was just like Bowler or just like Gita or just like Drina or Fergus or one of the other ones. So every storm's different. They're unique each time. And I must stress, we are still not locking in a cyclone, you know, with storm conditions coming into New Zealand. These maps certainly paint that picture. But like I say, there are other computer modeling that basically show low pressure from the north to the south here, connecting up. See another low just here. Shows those connecting up, but being quite weak, taking the energy off each other. So either way, it looks as though increasing confidence of some sort of wind and rainmaker for New Zealand middle of next week. 
But the details on whether or not there'll be severe weather still yet to be locked in, still days away probably, but I would imagine by the end of this week on Friday, we should have a little more confidence as to whether or not this looks stormy or just a bit of rain. That's all from me. We'll see you tomorrow Thursday with our next update.